Hey everyone. I told you I would bring you into the exhibit center. Right now I'm standing out in front of the uh, FGS 2017 exhibit center and I'm going to take you inside and we're going to go see some of the stuff that's in there. Um, some of the um, exhibitors, some of those who have booths in there as you can see are the Ancestry, Family Search, uh, My Heritage, Live DNA. Live DNA is a new one and I uh, plan on stopping by and talking to them. I talked to them a little bit when I first walked in and they had some good information. Um, I had never heard of them before and I know some of you who have thought about doing some DNA research might um, might have heard of them and might be considering it. So they might be able to give us some additional information. So we'll head on over to their booth and see what they have to say, okay? So they're down over here. They look to be pretty, pretty busy, but but we'll take a look. Uh, before I forget, oh, here's this right here is the FGS booth, and this is who's hosting or whose uh, event this is. And as you can see, we're head over there. I'll take you guys over there to the live DNA. And you can see a lot of the people that are walking around. And make sure you guys let me know what you think as you're watching. So we'll just go on ahead and head over here. Here's Family Search. I know some of you have used Family Search, and I've told you about Family Search, those who are my clients and that I uh, present to. I've talked to them. So here's the young lady that I had talked to before, and I'm going to ask her a few questions, and we'll see what she has to say. Hey, hey. I told you I'd come back. <laughs> so, hi, there. hi. You want to introduce yourself to? Yeah, yeah hi. I'm Hannah so. Morden from Living DNA. We're a new DNA testing company on the market. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes you different from the others? Yeah, so we can actually give you three tests in one. So your mother line, your father line, and your family line. Um, and we also compare you to 80 regions around the world, and that's just the beginning. So uh, what we can do within the British Isles is show you whereabouts within the British Isles you come from at a regional level, which really helps with tracking family history. That's really good. And she also told me when I came over earlier to talk to you, you showed me a book. You can yeah. also have your DNA packet done, your research done, and get all of the information, but you also have the option to buy a book, and it's a really nice book that gives you a lot of additional information. I think they would make wonderful Christmas gifts. So this is the book and it's all personalized completely to you. So it's going to have where you came from, it'll have your mother, father line in it, um, and it has things such as your your map and the breakdown of your map in there that you can see. Can you and guys see that? Let me a, go in. A little there you go. breakdown of everything that makes up you. Well, that's good. Well, I'm going to come back and talk to you some more because we might be working out a little something special for a lot of you. So, um, can you yeah. tell them how to contact you or how to how do they find more information? Oh, I'm totally. If you go to www.livingdna.com, then you can find out more about our tests and get in touch. Okay, great. Well, thank you, and I'll My be back. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh. Bye bye. All right, so we'll go on down here and see what else we have. Let's see. We have books and things, and this is a really good place if you're looking to get some books, some additional books on uh, maybe a particular region or a particular subject in doing your research. They have a, a wealth of books. They have a lot of books and you can go online and I will get over here to where you can see um, their website that they have. It's books and things and I'll hold it up here behind me if I can back up and see because it's hard for me to walk and hold this at the same time. Up oh, there's their banner right there. Okay, you can go and visit their website and see some of the books that they have. Um, we also have some of the other societies that are here. We have the Genealogy Society of Pennsylvania. They have a booth set up here. Makes sense because we are in Pittsburgh, so they would be sitting here. Um, we have Life at Print, and I haven't talked to them. Hi, I'm on YouTube here streaming live, and I am with a Rodesky Genealogy. Uh -huh. I have a YouTube channel and I wanted to show everybody some of the booths here. So, um, would you mind introducing yourself and telling Hello, me a little bit about your booth? Sure. My name's Beth Smith and I'm the owner of A Life in Print. We help people share their legacies. Okay. So, if you've, if you've done all of your genealogy and you want to get that in a book, we'll help you do that. All the way from interviewing, writing, design, photo restoration, whatever you need in the process, we help you do. Well, and that's we'll good. Print the book for you. Now, how can they get in touch with you? How can the viewers? 
Uh, they can go to www.alifeinprint.com okay. uh, or bentsmith at alifeinprint.com. Okay, great. Well, thank Excellent. you very much. You. Um, I'll come back after a while and get some additional information and make sure to post it on the website. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So if you have a book that you want to have printed and you, you'd like to be able to share that with family, that's another great option. There are a couple of those through here, um, and I'll take you to some of them so you can see. Uh, what it is they have to offer now This is another wonderful place to start if you're wanting to get your books uh, th That you've been looking for here uh, A great resource for maps a lot of the historical maps sometimes you can't um, find them necessarily You can go online or you can go to uh, Mia's it's M-A-I-A -A books and look to see what maps and books that she has that she will be able to offer Let's see, what else do we have here? Ah, oh, we have a new one. I hadn't stopped by this one earlier. This is Roots Finder, and I heard some other people talking about it. So I think we might stop and talk to her and see if she has something to say. Hi! Hi. I am I'm on a YouTube channel, A Rodesky oh. Genealogy, uh -huh. and we're going around and talking to the vendors and finding out how everything's going here at the exhibit. So would you mind, oh. now that I've already got you on the <laughs> tell me, telling us a little bit about um, uh -huh. what Roots Finder is. Well, what, we're, what we are... I think I'm getting are, you in the thing. I'm trying to make sure. There we go. We, we are a, a free, online, cloud-based family tree. Okay. And we provide hints from multiple record providers and from genealogy societies. So right now we have hints from Family Search and from um, Find My Past. Um, through them we get hints from Find a Grave and Billion Graves. We get newspaper archives. Um, and in the next month, we're bringing on American Ancestors and Ginny.com. Oh my gosh. Um, in the future, it's just a few months further out. We're getting WikiTree and We Relate, Genealogy Gophers, Searches the Family, Family, I gotta get this right, Family History Library Digital Catalog. Okay. Perfect. And we'll be bringing on other book providers. So when you load up your tree, you get hints from everybody. Okay. Wow. This is awesome. And somebody just said, oh, well, behind me. Lisa, hi. Hi. <laughs> it's shooting on YouTube right now. So we're sharing everything that we have here in the exhibit hall. Oh, perfect. So that yeah. is awesome. That is a huge benefit. So how can everyone get in touch with you? How do they find you? They just go to rootsfinder.com and okay. register. Okay. Load up a GEDCOM. We also download from Family Search. Okay. Um, we upload to Family Search. Stories, perfect. media. Um, this is a this is one of our hints here. You can oh. see. Okay, you see click if we can. through to the hint. Uh huh. This one's from Find My Past. And when you get to that record, this is the the census record for my grandmother right. and her thirteen siblings. And normally I'd be typing for an hour to enter the six data points and all the siblings, and I probably right. wouldn't do it because I get bored. Okay. And so what I do is I click on the clipper. Uh huh. And don't blink, here comes. We have clipped all the information off of that page. Oh my gosh. And we've clipped it for every member of the family. There it is. Wonderful. Wonderful. When you save, it saves to every member of the family. Uh -huh. And this is what you get. I'll show you what you get. This is Look at that. the census. It gives you the bibliography information, the location. It gives you the person. Um, it gives you a... Um, a thumbnail of the page uh -huh. and it gives you the information you took off the page and it gives you a list of the people involved look at that is really that is great for so those less than five minutes instead of typing know, for half hours an hour. half an hour that's right and your name again i'm solvay Solve. well thank you solvay i'll come back by and talk to you and get some more information and put it up on the descriptions down below okay thank you, thank you. all right wow. that is an unbelievable option to have I mean to where you can go off and save time by putting all of that data in and then being able to link it back without having to um, connect on all the different websites it's kind of it, it is it's a cloud it's a cloud of your genealogy research of your family history it's all located into one cloud and we know about the clouds y'all have heard all about the clouds so oh wait there was one gentleman I wanted to talk to and I've actually talked to him earlier and convinced him he's gonna write a little thing on my website okay so let me see if I can get this behind me this is 
might show backwards. <laughs> it's D2. Uh, it's a, a solution to help clean the headstones. Okay, so we're going to have a talk with him. If I can convince him to come over here right now, he's, uh, he's talking. But here, I'll show you some of these. Um, you can see on some of these the, the solution that can actually clean the headstone, the tombstones, our ancestors' tombstones, and not cause any damage, and that's the whole idea. Uh, right now he's busy talking, so we'll come back and talk to him here after a while, okay? So he's doing some work. Uh, let's see, where else do we have? Oh, now, Jeannie, this was one that I remember seeing the first time I went to, um, oh my gosh, I think it was the first FGS conference I went to. They had a booth that was set up there, and it was fairly new at the time. And this database, if I remember correctly, and we'll just double check, but I think it's one that's built on family trees and it's not just individual. The whole idea is to link families in the world, just not your individual family tree, but make that connection for, with other people in the world. Um, so I'll see if I can talk to this gentleman here. Hi, how are Hi, you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. Um, my name is Angie and I'm with Aradesky Genealogy and we're doing a YouTube Fun. channel right now here. So awesome. I was wondering if you could maybe tell us a little bit about what exactly what all, is Jeannie? What is Jeannie? And sure. I think you're in this dream there. there. Okay, great. So uh, my name's Mike Stengel. I'm the general manager of Jeannie. Uh -huh. uh, we've been in business since 2007. In 2012, we were acquired by MyHeritage, so we're now a MyHeritage company. Uh, but unlike MyHeritage or, say, Ancestry, where everybody's building their own family tree, on Jeannie, we are stitching together everybody's family tree into one big family tree of the world. Uh, we currently have over 115 million profiles all interconnected into a single family tree okay. and that connects about four and a half million users to each other as well. Uh, and we think there's a few main uh, advantages to this approach. Oh, yeah. uh, one is that unlike those other sites where you're encouraged to build your tree by copying what other people have in their tree, if there's ever a mistake there and it gets copied and copied and copied, then you'll never get that horse back in the barn. Uh, on Jeannie, on the other hand, I'm looking at William Penn right now, for example. Uh, I'll let you take a look at his profile see. page here. Um, so we have one William Penn on Jeannie, and okay. he's correct, but if he was wrong, uh, we'd be able to fix him in one place, and he would be fixed for everybody on the site. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's so good. that's really good, because then you don't have to continue to, you know, repeat the research on your line that goes back to Charlemagne or Colonial America or wherever, because oh. we already have that line. And you can focus on getting connected to that and then explore the lines that are more unique to you. Um, okay. So that's what we do on Genie. Uh, now we have over 200 volunteer curators who take stewardship of these historical branches of the tree. And their job is to merge the duplicates, to make sure that the profiles are accurate, um, and to help resolve conflicts if we have two users who come up with different versions of the, of the same history. Okay. Uh, now we support source citations, so of course the, the way we would resolve so, uh, disputes is by asking for sources first. And we can upload those to Genie. And if necessary, our curators can lock our master profiles, like William Penn is here, um, so that if there's well-meaning but um, obvious mistakes that uh -huh. keep, keep cropping up, well, then we can lock those down so that those don't uh, keep getting uh, edited incorrectly. Okay. Um, so that's essentially what we do. That's really neat, because I know a lot of um, clients that I have and a lot of YouTube subscribers and Facebook and um, presentations that I give, a lot of them are wanting to know a little bit more outside of the, the normal uh, tree connections that that are out there. So that's nice that this this will connect you to not only your individual family member, but this connects the whole world together. It's like one big happy. Makes me think of that Coca-Cola commercial uh, where they all cry and they're holding hands across <laughs> the world. The, the, that's what I think of. Well, thank you so much thank for you talking so much. to me. Nice and to I'm going to come back later and I'll get information um, to put on the here so they can get in touch with you. Sounds great. Find out. Thank All right. you. Uh, all right, so that was really neat. So you can connect everybody across the world and you know um, some connections that you might have missed and it's nice that they have the database to go in and fix